Good day everyone, here is an explanation for the Psychosocial Support Activity Pack for teachers. This packet is designed to bridge healthy socio-emotional well-being, achieved through offering psychosocial support to academic performance. In this guide, you will find a handful of play and arts-based psychosocial support PSS, activities that have been thoughtfully designed to help students confidently say, I am, I have, and I can even as we consistently have to adjust to changing circumstances and take extra care to remain safe. These activities are meant to enrich the student's well-being and socio-emotional and cognitive or academic development. The following will be discussed in this video. 1. How to use this PSS packet. 2. What to do. 3. What not to do. 4. Basic psychosocial support module flow. And 5. Activity guide. How to use this PSS packet. This packet is designed to bridge healthy socio-emotional well-being, achieved through offering psychosocial support to academic performance. When students feel supported in school by compassionate adults or teachers and their peers, they can perform well even in difficult times. Your role as a teacher is crucial in creating an atmosphere among your students of safety, calm, empathy and confidence. When conducting psychosocial support activities, your role is not to teach, but to be a companion to your students by being present and attuned to what emotions they are bringing back from home during this time of the pandemic. Through these activities, we are hoping you can create a classroom where both healing and learning thrive. The packet is divided into three parts, I am, I can, and I have, in order to develop specific psychosocial support skills. They are meant to be used in that order, to build on safety, self-awareness, and self-regulation first, and then move on to a deeper exploration of the self, community, and community resources. An annex is also provided with additional energizers and transitional activities to support your students' socio-emotional well-being and academic performance. You will also find other templates to use for creating your own activities as well as some other frequently asked questions FAQs, in using play and arts-based approaches for psychosocial support. What to do, since this packet is designed to offer you activities to support the well-being of your learners, the first step would be to create an environment that welcomes all the emotions that they bring with them from their time at home, assess, see the guide to learning the emotional language of your learners, P.12, whether they might be receptive to the activities identified, and then choose the activity. That would be helpful to hold a space to either ground or calm your class, or energize them. There is a list of grounding exercises and energizers in the annex to help you get started. Basic exercise activities such as running in place, jumping jacks, arm rolls are all good starters to get the stress out. End with three breaths to ground everyone back to their seats. After you've used the activities, know that it's okay to repeat them. Repetition and consistency over time builds up a child's socio-emotional strength and creates a culture of caring and acceptance in the classroom. It's best to continue doing psychosocial support activities throughout the year as this will boost your learner's academic performance as well. Feel free to modify activities to adapt it to your specific culture and dialect. Accommodations for children with special needs. If you have learners with special needs in your class, individual. Work can be done in pairs so that a regular learner can be paired with a special needs learner. Create safety and classroom guidelines. Remind them every session. Focus on your learner's strengths and inner resources. Use whatever materials are available to you, appreciate whatever is made by the learner. Thank them for their creativity and engagement, whatever way they engaged in as an observer, as a creator, as a sharer, think outside the box. 
Materials from the natural environment may be used for art and other psychosocial support activities. What not to do, when learners do not want to do a psychosocial support activity, encourage them, but don't force them. If you have a quiet or peace corner in your room with books and coloring supplies, they can stay there and try other activities until they're ready to join. Do not teach the learners how to create, since this is not an art class, but a psychosocial support activity. Instead, provide them with a space to let their creativity flow. Encourage them if they are having difficulty, i.e., start with a line, simple tapping of the toes or nodding of the head. Do not force learners to create instead, meet them where they are at. Take note of these learners and check in with them individually from a curious, compassionate standpoint. Do not judge artworks as good or bad, instead, be curious about their work and what they want to communicate through it. Do not analyze or interpret their work instead, allow them to be the masters of their creations. Basic Psychosocial Support Module Flow this is a suggested guide to help you plan your time to integrate the following psychosocial support activities. Greeting. Warm greeting for the learners, check in. How is everyone today? Use the emoticon chart. Point to each emoticon. Ask who is feeling each emotion in class. Learners are not required to answer. All emotions are welcome, energy check. If the teacher notices the group lacks energy, do an energizer activity, set guidelines. Set guidelines for the first session and review before every succeeding session. This is critical for classroom management. Invite them to add more guidelines to encourage ownership of the rules. Review the guidelines together, main activity, Introduce the main activity, synthesis. Synthesize learnings and re-emphasize important points about the theme, e.g. safety, closing. It is very important to close with an uplifting or grounding activity, e.g. a song, dance, energizer, breathing. This is a good place to use your own energizer, dance, or activity that reflects your specific culture. Note red flags. If you notice any red flags and that someone needs extra care, follow the agreed on protocols for reporting in your school for psychosocial support. Next is the sample activity guide. 